Tehran Iranians dug through rubble in a frantic search for survivors on Monday, after a powerful earthquake struck near the Iraqi border, killing more than 500 people and injuring thousands of others in the world's deadliest earthquake so far this year. The quake, recorded at 9.48 p.m. on Sunday, was felt as far away as Turkey and Pakistan. The epicenter was near Esjali, Iran, about 135 miles northeast of Baghdad, and had a preliminary magnitude of 7.3, according to the United States Geological Survey. Seismologists in the country said it was the biggest quake to hit the western part of Iran. Photographs from the region, a patchwork of farms and home to many Kurds, a large ethnic minority in Iran, posted on the internet showed collapsed buildings, cars destroyed by rubble and people sleeping in the streets in fear of aftershocks. At least 530 people were killed and 7,460 people were injured in Iran, according to the state-run news agency Erna. At least eight people were killed on the Iraqi side of the border, according to Drive. Saif Albadir, a spokesman for the health ministry, and at least 535 were hurt. In Tehran, hundreds of people waited in line to donate blood in response to a call from the government. Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, Iran's supreme leader, delivered a message of condolence on Monday, urging rescue workers to keep searching for survivors. The officials should hasten in these first hours with all their might and determination to help the injured, especially those trapped under the rubble, his office reported. By the evening, however, Iranian officials said that the rescue mission was nearly over, according to the state news media. Particularly hard hit was Pali Zahab, a city in the western Iranian province of Kerman Shah, according to the semi official Iranian students' news agency. The authorities said that at least 236 people had died in the city, which has a population of 30,000, and the main hospital was believed to be at least partly running. My friend was screaming, saying, I lost my home, one resident wrote on Twitter. Thank God, she and her family are doing well. She said people were only mourning and their loved ones were under the rubble. One image from Pali Zahab appeared to show the near destruction of an apartment block recently built for low-income families. Another, posted on the website Kabar Online, showed a pickup truck transporting victims under colorful blankets. Farhad Tarji, a member of parliament for Pali Zahab, told the semi-official news agency ILNA that his family had been devastated by the quake. I've lost 15 people, he said. The Iranian government newspaper posted a video on its website in which a resident of Pali Zahab complained that no aid had come. There has been no help yet, neither food nor water, no clothing, no tents, there is nothing, said the resident, a man who appeared to be in his 30s, while standing in a street with collapsed buildings. There are no facilities yet. We've slept outside since last night. This is the condition of our homes. Our electricity, water, gas, phone lines are out, everything is completely out, the whole city has been destroyed, it is wrecked. 